This here is the Antec C8. In white, we've got a white build coming for you. This is part of their Constellation series. Now this probably looks familiar to you. It's kind of like that dual chamber, very open, airy type design where you can fit up to three 360 millimeter radiators. You get plenty of airflow and beautiful beveled tempered glass edges for that nice flush feeling right against both the front and left side panels. And while I usually save this part of the video for last, I think the price is just phenomenal. 130 bucks for this US, and that's also the case for the white model. So you don't pay any extra for it. Now, it doesn't come with any fans, but we're gonna fix that with the, uh, the stuff we've got on hand. We'll show you in a second. And of course, you can find this linked below if you are interested. We've partnered with Antec to not only build in this C8, but also uh, make something that I think will look very appealing, very unique, thanks to all of the white components we have. We have an Antec Symphony 360 ARGB. This, of course, is a 360 millimeter AIO. We're gonna have lots of 120 mil fans in this build. Um, and I think we're just gonna set the colors all to white. So after we build this, we'll have to, of course, download and install Windows and then download Antec's RGB software to sync it all up. But uh, this is gonna be super sweet cooling for our super sweet CPU. And the CPU is a Ryzen 7 7700, eight cores, 16 threads, really great architecture, and actually a really great price today as well. And we've plenty more goodies. Honestly, can't wait to get this thing together. It's gonna look pretty sweet, I hope. If it doesn't, well, you won't see this. Maybe you will, maybe you still will. I'm gonna be stubborn. Are you ready? Stay with me. If you're sick of seeing that same Activate Windows watermark over and over, head on over to VIP SCD Key, where they have Windows 10 and 11 Pro OEM keys at a fraction of the price of retail. Just use the secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye-bye to the watermark. And be sure to use your offer code SKGS for that so sweet discount. Now I've gotta admit, when I first saw this case in person, I thought it looked a bit like some other cases you're probably aware of already on the market. But Antec, of course, put their spin on things and I think have perfected this kind of open air design. I really like the compartmentalized setup. You can, of course, isolate your motherboard and graphics card from your power supply and your drives and the like, but you also get plenty of hardware support. Again, up to three 360 millimeter radiator fan combos can be thrown into here simultaneously. You get that nice beveled edge right there against the front and left glass panels. So no frame of any kind in between those. And the case is still very structural. Now I think you can actually pop this off. So let's, let's see how this goes. So usually in cases like this, when you take the front and left panels off, you get a bit of sag. I'm really surprised that there's like no sag there at all. This is actually a really structural point of the case even without the glass. So that's pretty impressive. I thought it would fail that right here on camera, but it didn't. So, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, I, seriously, that's actually really cool. I didn't expect that. And check this out. If you were concerned at all about airflow, this entire right side panel is completely perfect. You can actually see through this. How many fingers am I holding up? It's super easy to see. That's indicative of how much air is gonna be able to get its way into this case or out of it, depending on how you have your fan configs arranged. Uh, and then check this out. I'm also gonna throw, let me see here, if I can get this off. Front panel, also almost totally perforated. Is that in focus? It is in focus. Yeah, also super airy. So much room for activities. So let's get started with our platform. I've chosen a very whited out motherboard from NZXT. We're gonna pair that again with our 7700 Ryzen 7 CPU and some pretty neutralized black DDR5 just because I don't have anything that's white and not RGB. I don't really want much RGB apart from what's gonna be in the fans. This is the N7 B650E. And uh, well, you've probably seen this a few times on the channel in the past, maybe not so much in its white form. But uh, I really love this board because you can see we've got pretty much the entire PCB covered by these matte white uh, covers here and they're all made of metal. So a pretty premium finish. And all we're gonna do actually, while I've got you here, I'm gonna go ahead and get these DDR5 dims taken care of using an AM5 platform. So it is DDR5 only. And uh, maybe now you can see why I've chosen black, just neutralized DDR5 dims because, well, they kind of blend in. They don't detract from the otherwise white aesthetic. Here's our lovely 7700 and pivoting on over to the socket then. I'm gonna pull back on this lever, expose, if I can get it open. Now LGA socket with AM5 and our CPU orientation needs to be this right here. This time around the golden triangle points in the upward left direction. We'll lower the retention arm back down and there goes the cover. Save this for later. In she goes then. This platform is a, just a slightly warmer, uh, I guess warmer color, warmer tone. The 
what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It, it's just, it's slightly warmer than the, than the case is, but that's okay. Right? From you know, two feet away, it almost looks the same. Ah, okay, it was the word hue. I had a feeling. I, if I don't address this now, I'm gonna be bombarded in the comments, so it is what it is. And now it's time we start wiring. I cannot get over. <laughs> I can almost suspend my entire body weight on this thing, which admittedly isn't a lot of weight because I'm pretty skinny. So. Yeah. Wow, brag about it. I'm not bragging, that's not a brag. Dude, I'm like a toothpick. I disappear if I turn sideways. And I've got to say, I really like these angled rubber grommets. I think they come in super handy, especially for these side uh, connectors here, like for USB 3. Ooh, and check it out, a unified front panel connector. I'm not complaining. Installing several Antec Fusion 120 ARGB fans now, and check this out. So this is the dust filter, and it just slides back in like so. By the way, you can swap out this 120 mil bracket for the 140 or vice versa, depending on which one is already installed in the case to begin with, and that'll accommodate your larger fans. In this case, 120's all around, so this one will do. More fans along here next to the motherboard, and don't worry, we'll explain airflow ideology a bit later. And now, taking care of the Symphony 360 AO, we're gonna mount this up top again for reasons we'll explain a bit later. Thermal paste time, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a treat here. Beautiful smiley face, look at that. That, that, there's a reason they don't call me Picasso. That looks really bad and probably should just be, you know, maybe a little bit more. There you go, a little more of a smiley face now. I'm so sorry, little guy, they made me do it. They made me spread you. And CPU block, go, whoops, yep, going down. This looks really good, I think this ties in the Whoopsie. Ties in the motherboard and uh, case colors a bit because the tubes are actually slightly warmer than the block here. So it actually is pretty cohesive. And check this out. We get a sweet, sweet peel. You know, white components in manufacturing are super difficult to match. And oftentimes, even in the case of like AIOs, you'll have a different manufacturer for this material here that you wrap around the tubes than you will for the block. And that's why you get these tiny variations in warmth. It's been about 20 or 30 minutes here wrapping up small cable management, uh, just a bunch of fans to wire in, RGB strips. As you can imagine, nine fans in here. Raymond, if you wanna pull back a bit, I'm gonna show them what behind the right panel looks like so far. Uh, it's a bit rat's nesty, and I've just stubbornly tried to stick with a single RGB slash fan hub with a bunch of daisy chains that may or may not work. We'll find out. We've moved on to day two, and well, I was giving this a little bit of thought. You guys probably saw that this card was in an earlier shot in this video, and that was because I was still kind of on edge about which card I wanted to use here. I wanted it to be a white card, but I wasn't sure about the Starfield theming because I'd already technically used this in another build earlier on the channel. We're just gonna go with it. I think actually this will work quite nicely, and we've even got, where are they? These cables here that may or may not clash with everything else in the build. We're about to find out, let's get it unboxed. You know, it's not every day that you see designs like this and uh, well, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity. So yes, I took this out of that other system, uh, but one of the cool things that uh, was well, a little bit of an unintentional side effect of this, you see it says property of constellation here on the left. And if you play Starfield, you understand the reference, but on the case itself, come over here, Raymond, you can see it says, Constellation series. This is the C8 case from Antec. They have other C chassis, but it's really cool that the word Constellation is written not only on the case, but also on the graphics card. We're gonna act like that was the plan all along. We, we did this. This was us. We've got a white NZXT vertical graphics card bracket. We're gonna slot this into so we can see the lovely design of this card. It just, uh, Feels a bit wrong to not show this off, and many of you voiced your uh, concerns with that in the last build because you couldn't see the card really at all in it. So all we're gonna do is move this over to the chassis, and it'll sit something like that right there. We'll figure out what to do with these tubes a bit later. I also think it's super convenient that Antec left this rear cutout here totally unobstructed, so no rails that are gonna keep us from using certain vertical brackets. Riser cable connected, and let's see if this slides all the way in like so. Man, this just 
This really completes the look right here. Really glad we went with this card. And well, a bit of a change of plans. We wanted to use the custom star themed cables and we didn't have a 24 pin that shipped with the card, uh, just the two supplemental eight pins. But the way that they are sleeved, you couldn't see the coloring because the coloring is only on one side and the way we have this card oriented, it wouldn't work. You can see from these shots here. So uh, I've got a red and kind of like gray and black sleeved kit here that actually works nicely because we have a majority of red accents on the graphics card. It's gonna help spread this color out a bit more throughout an otherwise white and black build. So we'll go ahead and get this 24 pin connected, something like that there, and then we'll take care of wiring at the back when we get our power supply installed, which is the last component for this build. Now it's also really convenient, and it gave us plenty of Velcro straps around this case for cable management. This is gonna be our eight pin EPS here. You know, this color scheme is actually starting to grow on me. I think the red sets it off nicely but I know that's subjective, so be gentle in the comments. And finally, last, the Neo Eco Any 1000 GM in white, the M standing for what I assume to be a modular power supply and a thousand watts is, it's a bit more than we need, but it doesn't really hurt in the grand scheme of things. These uh, white power supplies are pretty rare. In the wild, you don't see too many of them, but boy, oh boy, do they look good. I'm actually upset that we're not gonna be able to see this from the left or front panels. Get it situated fan side out. And remember that right panel is totally perforated. So this will get plenty of air through there. You can see we get white cables with this uh, PSU, which is quite nice, even though we'll be using extensions. And this right here, uh, Raymond, if you wanna show them this panel, this is actually a, an air duct partition. So it separates the air being pulled in or pulled out uh, pushed out, I should say, from the uh, side intake or side exhaust fans from the remainder of the system. So you have a bunch of cables over here, a lot of, you know, cable management going on, and then isolated system for just air to move in or out, which I think is really clever. I think I've got everything wired correctly. We're gonna find out the hard way in a second. Uh, this is not my proudest work. You know, it's always tough when you've got uh, RGB headers and things, uh, you know, controllers, cable extensions also add to that mix, but there's still tons of space we could have utilized otherwise. Now we're gonna put this right panel on. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just snap in place. So if you sit it like that there, I think that's it. That's it. <laughs> two, two clips up top, just threads in at the bottom. And look at this, one big, large, perforated right side panel. Right, and here is the left side. You can see, uh, looks really good. Actually better than I thought it would. And I like that we added a bit of red to kind of set off the graphics card a bit more. We have a ton of white components in here, but you know, at some point you really need a little bit of contrast, maybe a little bit of color, as long as you're okay with that. Red is a really strong color, but we've just added it just in some very small places to help complement that card. So uh, yeah, aesthetically, I think we did pretty good here, considering we aren't custom cooling anything. Speaking of, there's a lot of room for that in the C8 if you're interested. What's so, up? You know, I always knew there would be a time and place this ridiculously hot costume. So uh, sticking to the Starfield theme, as you can see, I joined the Crimson Fleet. We are ready to power this on for the first time. I'm really hoping that this goes according to plan because if not, we just spent two whole days building this for absolutely no reason. Here we go, three, two, you know, I should probably figure out where the, it's on top and that's where it is. Three, two, one, lift off. Wow, this is so Stupid quiet. All the fans are still spinning, but I'm not joking when I say this. The only thing I can hear is the pump running right now. The pump is the loudest thing in this rig. By default, we didn't have to tweak anything. Pretty incredible. And I've got to say, it looks pretty sweet as well. You can see when our AIO lit up, this uh, Antec logo also popped up in this little mirror, which I think is a nice touch. And while these fans are a bit bright, I meant to do that, that really hurt. I don't think I'm gonna change the colors of them. I really like just the stock white look. They could be a little darker. Overall, I think this just fits the space theme perfectly. It also doesn't hurt that the graphics card has its own built-in white LEDs to fit that space theme. Of course, this being a Starfield Team 7900 XTX, it makes sense. Now, of course, the point of this build was to showcase the Antec C8 and show what you could really 
put together if you just have the right kind of cohesion of components uh, like I think we've achieved here. But in case you are wondering, here's a 3 d Mark Time Spy score summary for this CPU and GPU pairing. These, these components have been out for quite a while actually, so this shouldn't be too much of a surprise, but obviously this is going to perform very well because these components are both new and quite powerful in their respective categories. And again, it doesn't hurt that this thing is just stupid quiet. I, I'm shocked at how quiet this thing is. We have nine fans in here, technically 12 if you want to count the three over the uh, graphics card shroud. I mean, Antec did a really good job keeping these fans as quiet as possible. And they illuminate quite nicely. The white is a pretty neutral white. It's not too warm or too cool. And typically you have that issue with white LEDs. So really nice setting by default overall, just no complaints. It, it worked out better than I honestly thought it would. Now, hopefully while watching this video, you've kept the price of this case in the back of your head. One of the reasons why I wanted to tell you early on was because I felt like you'd be pretty impressed seeing all of just the attention to detail that they've thrown into the C8. Antec have not only given us a case that I think is very affordable and a great value, but they've also added subtle details that set it apart from other cases in this price category. Again, $120 or so is a really compelling offer, I think, and it's one of the reasons why we agreed to partner with Antec to make this video. I wouldn't have agreed to take their money if I thought the product sucked or wouldn't appeal to at least some of you. And I think for the price, you won't be disappointed. So we're gonna have it linked below along with all the other parts we've thrown into this build if you are interested. This was a lot of fun. You get so much space in the C8, you get tons of airflow. If you pair just enough fans with it, especially LED fans, you can create a really beautiful rig like I think we've done here. Really glad we went with the Starfield theme. Not so glad that I decided to put this on, but uh, gotta sweat a little bit for the channel. It's definitely what I'm doing right now. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, Good. subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. Just stop recording, I'm freaking hot. It's really hot. See you guys. Whoa, it's supposed to say thanks for learning with me. I can't. Thanks for learning with me. All right, you can stop it now. <laughs> Baking. <laughs>